first thing I'm doing is, well, what I'm doing is I'm, I've been watching Bill and Connie DeKramer um, and they were on the bundle. The You Are a Miracle is their video series. And I just love her. She's just, she's taking me up to next level with just, um, you know, my big issue is cramming vegetables <laughs> and um, when I'm not hungry. And so I'm, I've just got so much conditioning from my growing up and it's, it's challenging overriding it. it. Even though I know it's just the mind, it's not me. It's not, it's not the body. It's not how I'm feeling right now. It's just this age old eat before you're hungry eat. Now you're not going to get any more later. Um, eat to their convenience. You know, it's just all these rules. So I learned to just ignore my body sensations of satisfaction or fullness or satiety. And um, uh, she just got a great way of just kind of relaxing and pausing and just watching it. Um, and it's, it's really been helpful for me. <laughs> so uh, why was I talking about that? Oh, oh, so she comes on on Saturday mornings and I, I listen in and she does a recipe. And this is one of her recipes and it looks really good. So I'm making it. Watch what is it. it? What what recipe are it's, you? It's a, it's a pasta primavera. Ooh, and yesterday I took a whole bunch good. of, yeah, I took a whole bunch of quinoa to the potluck yesterday and I've got a bunch of it, uh, quinoa salad. And, uh, but it's basically quinoa. And so I'm going to use that as my base. And she, she uses quinoa too and, and she feels it's really good. So I'm doing a, a, a cashew sauce. But you can do this with white beans, of course. And um, it calls for a cup and a half of cashews and a, a cup of water. So I just went ahead and poured the water into the cashews to soak them uh, when I was prepping today. And so I'm just going to toss that into the blender. And then it's um, two fresh lemons juiced, and I've already juiced them. And Bill was saying if you put your garlic into your lemon, it kind of does something to the, the garlic, kind of takes the oh. edge off, the bitterness. So I went ahead and threw my uh, garlic in with my uh, lemon sauce, lemon juice. And then you put in, um, they use Mrs. Dash Extra Spicy, which I don't have. So I just used um, some peppers from uh, local spicery. The, the Bistro, I think yeah. it's called. So I'm just going to pour that in. And last week I noticed I, I kept not showing you what I was doing, which is irritating for me because I, you know, when I look at it later, I think, oh, geez, I should have had it pointing towards what I was doing. And then just brown pepper to, to taste. And I just put some in and a teaspoon of um, onion powder. And then I put in a teaspoon of the no salt Kirkland seasoning since I don't have the Mrs. Dash. <laughs> You just put that all in a blender and blend it. And another gal said she used white beans and they were delicious. So either one works. I'm going to go ahead and throw my onions into the saute pan. Oh, yeah. And I should turn my saute pan on. Just to get it heating up. So I'm leaving it to you, Jesse, because I'm going to turn my blender on. So um, I'm making a kind of a Thai curry flavored vegetable saute um, <laughs> with red lentils. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sauteing onion, cauliflower, carrot, and bell pepper. I'm going to be adding some crushed tomatoes um, and the lentils will go in at the end after the vegetables have started really cooking down. Um, and I'll put in some herbs and spices, but I'm also gonna use the prepared yellow curry um, paste. And I, I love this brand of uh, Thai flavored uh, curries. So that's what I'm doing today. Here's my creamy sauce. Oh, that looks great. Wow. And I'm going to turn on my overhead fan. Let me know if this comes through to all you guys. 
I went ahead and tried this because you can just put it on as you eat it. So it's not like you just stick the whole thing in at once. And so we can moderate how much of this we use. This is high calorie density. Are you getting a... a and who? I've, I've already got the bundle. I brought the bundle so I don't need it. Thanks, Janet. Okay. Okay, so same thing, Jesse. I'm gonna go ahead and toss in onion, carrot, and bell pepper. And, Jay and I got Jesse's same pan here. I just love it. Isn't it great? I just, oh, these God. are the, the best pans for everything. For steaks, for sautés, you know. I sautéed up a bunch of vegetables. I don't know, it was yet, the day before yesterday. And Steve and I, they just were a above the the other steam's pot that I the other pot I used to steam. They were so tasty. So thank you, Jesse. So I've got the onions. Um by the way, if you've seen me pouring something into the pan, it's just a, a balsamic wine vinegar that I use to deglaze when I'm sauteing. Um, oh. So I've, I've got the onion sautéing with um, a little bit of spices. I've got some local spicery dusk, uh, which is a gall and gall, cinnamon, um, and cardamom, and a little orange peel and pepper. Those are the ingredients of the dusk spice mix that uh, Nick at local spicery sells. And um, I put in a little bit of a... Of it's a salt-free all-purpose blend that I get that comes from, it's the Simply Organic brand. Um, so that's what I've started the onions off with. And now I'm going to add in this big bowl of cauliflower <laughs> and the carrots because they both take about the same time to cook down and soften. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water in and at this point, I'm going to cover the pan and give it a few minutes. Jesse, what, what's the name of your pan? Um, I, I think it's Cooks. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm Is it Cooks Essential? It's Cooks Standard. Yeah. Standard. I've, I've got two of them. <laughs> So it's cooked standard. And if you guys got the other recipe that I sent out, it did have um, a link to this pan on Amazon. Okay. Patty says, uh, Connie and Bill do weekly talks for about five minutes. They have many recipes on their website and you can buy the ebook cookbook. They're great to listen to and they include a recipe after the talk. And I just love listening to them. The one, they just did one on paradigms and I listened to it three times. It's just it's so good. They're they're spiritual teachers. They don't say that. They they they're coaches, but they're really Bill used to teach TM and Connie just know. One of the things I really like about these pans is that they are well, they're actually flat bottom blocks. They're all stainless steel. And so there's a lot of um, surface right on the bottom so that you can saute a lot of things at one time. Um, the bottom is about, I believe, 14 inches in diameter. So it's a big pan, it's about four yeah. quarts, but it's not, it's not hugely heavy. Um, you know, you can, when it's empty, you can certainly hold it with one hand. When it's got food in it, you're gonna need both hands because it is four quarts, but um, I, I really, I've had these for a number of years now, and they're great. You're not supposed to put water in this, Jesse, and I'm not even putting any water in here. Yeah. Does it have a Teflon interior or nonstick oh. interior? No, they're stainless steel. It's 100% yeah. stainless steel. I don't use nonstick. Um, and it really works. It works great. And stone blitz is that if you add greens to the end of a dish that you're cooking, which I frequently do, you can mound the greens up under the dome and then oh. they steam, you know, they steam and cook down on top yeah. of your dish. So, 
so smart. <laughs> but what really hurt, I, I used to use cast iron. And of course, I got rid of all my cast iron when we went no oil. So, um, you know, I love stainless, but it really, it really felt bad to give up all the cast iron that I had seasoned over the years. <laughs> yeah. I got I rid of my cast iron, too. I couldn't get yeah. mine to work. Why can't you use water in that wok? You can. You can. I just don't need any. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you said you couldn't use water. So. There's so much. It's just the way it heats it. It's just there's so much moistness still. It doesn't just cook the moisture right off. And I can. I'm going to put a little water in there just to get up the brown. It is browning. Right. Be glazed. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to oh. add broccoli and okay. zucchini, two zucchinis. Look at all those veggies. Mm. Cook a little bit um. more. Mm. Can you tilt your camera a little bit, Janet? Which, the food one yeah. or mine? Oh, there, Which never mind. I see you. Never mind. I see yeah. you. I, I wasn't looking at the little extra one. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't. Put the lid on for a minute, like Jesse is. No. <laughs> um, so, I just wanted to show what's cooking in the pan right now. This is the onion, cauliflower, and carrot with some herbs and spices. And I'm going to be adding the bell peppers in a little bit. And then I'm going to be adding crushed tomatoes and the yellow curry paste. Um, there we go. So, it, and it's you. low in salt? What, what's the salt content? The salt content per tablespoon. And this is, you know, I'm going to have four quarts of stuff and we're going to put this over oat groats. So the salt content per tablespoon is 390 milligrams. The total amount in this dish will probably be about 390 milligrams. I'll probably use a tablespoon of the curry paste. Very nice. So, but then you divide that up by your servings. You're not really doing too bad. No. Well, yeah. that's that's what I'm saying is it's really yeah. not. Let me hold this up and you can see the, if I get this close enough, I think you can see the ingredients. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. A, a well, tablespoon of baking powder is 1,492 milligrams right. yeah. of sodium. So it's wow. shallots, garlic, lime juice, galangal, uh, some Him Himalayan salt, dried red chili, turmeric, coriander powder, fennel powder, cumin powder, cinnamon powder, and clove powder. Everything and and you get that off Amazon or? Yes, I get it from Amazon. And this brand, Macala, has quite a few different types of Thai paste. Um, I, they're delicious. Anyway, it's really... You know, it just makes it easier than having to come up with your own spice and herb mix. Have you found any pickled ginger? Pardon? Have you found pickled ginger? No, I, you know what? I either do it myself or actually I like fresh ginger better. Mm -hmm. So, but um, the only pickled ginger I've found has preservatives in it or a oh. load of salt. Uh, so I haven't found any really good, you know, I've looked just because yeah. you it would be convenient, but you know, yeah. Um, or a ginger garlic combo would be good also, but same problems. And mm -hmm. I, do, I do pretty much prefer organic if it's roots, you know, if it's a roots, yeah, uh, a root vegetable. So, you get that curry paste um, on Amazon, yes. <laughs> I have some curry paste. Is it pretty potent or is it kind of mild? This one is the mildest. There is a red, a, a green. This is the yellow. Uh, they've also got a Tom Yum. Um, I've got another one that I really like, which is called Rendang. Um, and it starts, starts out with dried red chili as the first ingredient rather mm. than shallots <laughs> and garlic. So this is a really potent one. But the yeah. yellow curry is is the mild milder. There's also a great basil, really good basil one. 
Thank you. How have you and Richard been doing with the food, Jesse? We've been doing great. It's been, awesome. <laughs> it's been really nice. So at this point, I am down 13 pounds yeah. since December 8th. Wow. Which, and we haven't had one dessert and we haven't had one oily meal. We haven't gone mm -hmm. out and ordered, I mean, I don't cook with oil at home. So our yeah. problem was we would go out and give in to temptation and get some oily dinner. We haven't done that. It's yeah. just been really nice. Does it make a difference with your, your brain, with your what? mind? Is it making a difference yes. with your? Yeah, because the minute you succeed at all, you know, you feel like, you know, there's a sense of accomplishment, but it also feels easier to not give in to temptation, but the weird thing is, we have not been tempted by desserts at all. I don't really understand that. And somehow that seems to tie into the oil temptation also. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't heard anybody talk about that connection, but it's, uh -huh. it's connection for us. Someone uh, I said- know, I know AJ connects it with salt. He says when she has salt, she craves dessert. Yeah, but and white I, flour. I'm saying if we had dessert, we craved an oily dinner the oh. next day. Mm -hmm. So I don't quite understand that, but it seemed like what we were doing was aimed at staying away from desserts. And we realized after a couple of weeks that we didn't want the oily dinners anymore either. So it seemed to work kind of in the opposite direction for us. Interesting. And again, it was a late night thing. So you know, we'd either give in to desserts late at night and then get into an oil thing the next day, or we would go out for dinner, go ahead and order something that had oil in it, and then we would want dessert when we got home. Uh huh. So, Interesting. This has just been, it's great. I mean, it's definitely slow weight loss, but 13 pounds is significant. That's huge, Jesse, considering, you know, you've been struggling with it for so long. And now I you're. I haven't seen this weight since 1991. Boy, that's how long, yeah, that's how that's long it's. So exciting! Yeah, really. <laughs> little step, little step, Jesse. Yep, baby steps. Yeah. Okay, so boy, that is almost it. I do this until they're still crisp. Cook until all veggies are tender, but still crisp. And then I add tomatoes and Italian herbs. And that's it. And I serve it up. <laughs> it's so simple. And it looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. Have you guys tried this kind of a, a top can opener? It's not a can opener, but a bottle lid opener. Um, no. Let me try, uh, let me start with one. I haven't done this to already. Okay, so normally this is the kind of thing that it may be really hard to twist open. Yeah. Instead, you take this little gadget, you put it under and listen. Did you hear yeah. that? You can do what? that with a regular can opener. You can, but. but That's what have, we use. I've got some really thick lids that yeah. don't work. They need this kind of a, which my can opener doesn't give this depth. Right, right. We've got a big one. Oh, yeah. yeah. We just learned that too, Jesse. We're like, oh my gosh, all this time we've struggled to open jars and all you have to do is release the pressure. You can also put a spoon under the edge. My sister-in-law taught me that one. If you just put a spoon under that edge and you give it a like that, it will pop it open. Oh, okay. So if Patty's you don't have it with you, use a spoon. Patty says, uh, great idea, Jesse, with the vinegar to clean the pan. Thanks for yeah. sharing. And she's got a jar of Sushi Chef pickled ginger and just noticed it has 65 milligrams of sodium and few other ingredients that are probably not so good for us to ingest. Yeah, and how many calories is it, Patty? You know, like zero and then 65 milligrams of sodium. Right, right. Uh, but I'm curious to know what the calories are. On, um, let's see, on this, on the paste, uh, the calories on a tablespoon of this uh, curry paste are 15. Oh, that's great. And the sodium yeah. is what? 
The sodium is 390 milligrams, right, and, that, right. and the serving is a tablespoon. Yeah. And I'm okay. I'm going to use a tablespoon for this four quart dish. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So, and it'll be uh, it'll be a minimum of two to three dinners for both of us. Yeah. So it'll be six portions. Sure. So six, yeah. six and four hundred round up to four hundred. Yeah. You know, we're talking what seven. Uh, oh yeah, it's no big deal. And then Patty yeah, says her ginger is uh, 30 calories per tablespoon and 65 milligrams of sodium per tablespoon. You know, and depending on what you're doing with it, it's not the end of the world. That's right. You, you know, when you're just using them as condiments and uh, and I'm not weight losing anymore. So I I'm trying to- The label I'm looking at says 290. And what are you looking at? The Amazon, it shows the ingredients label. And it says sodium 290. For which what? now? For the curry paste. But there are like five different types of curry paste. Oh, okay. That's 100, so, 100 milligrams less. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. It just... Okay. So I'm going to add the tomatoes. So I chopped up a bunch of cherry tomatoes. Let's see. Where's my... <laughs> oh, it's over here. I got to get used to two cameras. That's one thing about Zoom, which is really nice, is you can use two cameras. And I, I had forgotten all about that until Jesse. Oh, and then I, I was just going to say, and then I'm putting in some uh, Italian seasoning. It says a teaspoon, but I'm putting in a tablespoon. This is a pile of vegetables. So, okay, Jesse. Uh, so I just added in my red bell peppers, and then I'm going to adding in uh, these red lentils. And all I've done with them up to this point is rinse them in cold water. And uh, I'll be adding them in at the end. And that will be the base of my curry stew. Right, I will get my quinoa. Oh, and then So we are going to have, uh, we're going to have oat groats as the base, you know, instead of rice, we're going to use oat groats. Let me... And I'm using my quinoa salad from yesterday instead oh, of wow. pasta. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. great. So the oat groats are just like, you know, they're just like grains of rice. I cooked up a big seven quart stock pot of oat groats for us for the week. Um, and this is what we're going to serve our curry stew over. Well, I'm just going to do a little bit since we're not eating right now. And I'm hoping to head out for a bike ride. It's so beautiful out. And the rain comes back on Wednesday. Yeah, we're going to get rain again this weekend, too. Okay, I can't stand anymore. I'm going to try some. <laughs> I didn't even heat the quinoa. I just piled the crumb of beer on top. Mm. Boy, is How that is ever that good. sauce? Oh, oh man. It yeah. is so good. Yeah. I'm glad I tried it. It'd be fun to try both ways. One with white beans and one with the cashews. That's good. I'll have to let her know. So I used uh, two 14 ounce jars of Eden Foods no salt added organic crushed tomatoes. And that's what the sauce is going to be, along with the few herbs and spices I added in and then the curry paste. What's yours called again, Jesse? <laughs> What's your, your recipe called? You know what? I'm just calling it a cauliflower and red lentil stew. Um, but it's got a Thai flair to it because of the yellow curry paste. Boy, sounds wonderful. Well, it's just a question of what I had around. I had this huge head of cauliflower that I wanted to use and some nice new fresh red bell peppers. And this is the end of a huge container of red lentils that I had. So I just thought, Great. That's the way to do it.
I went grocery shopping after the potluck yesterday. Went to Costco, Trader Joe's, the Asian store. So I got I got these ingredients for today, but I wanted them nice and fresh. So it was a large head of cauliflower, a small bag of those bunny carrots, you know, the ones that they peel and shape into little. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe, I don't know, three red, good sized red bell peppers, two large sweet onions, um, and then the, the spices and herbs and curry paste and the crushed tomatoes. And now it's just going to take a while to simmer and, you know, for the red lentils to cook down. Yeah. And, and it will be ready for dinner for us. But you certainly don't need to hang around. I, I would, I'll take pictures, although I don't think they're going to be anything impressive. Um, because it'll probably just look like a, a red skin. Daughter. <laughs> Patty's wondering if the oak roots are more nutritious than the brown rice and same with quinoa. I know quinoa has uh, higher protein. Well, let me, here we go. So this is what the quinoa is dinner for us for probably what would you say Richard this is going to be three dinners isn't it yeah, yeah I mean this is a four plus quart oh, pan. Yeah. Oh, it looks and, great. Um, and we're going to serve this over the oat groats so this is I, I do a lot of you know I like to kind of 